Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will be sharing my experience and learning about the steps we need to take for learning any new BI tool or programming language. Quick clarification that these are just my thoughts and learning after 10 years of experience in this domain. You may be having different thoughts and probably better than in many cases, then please share them by posting the comments on this video. When you start learning, you find many books, blogs or tutorials which may be sometimes helpful but in many cases problematic enough to take the right path for your learning objectives. So in the next few slides, you will be seeing what step you can take for a better experience on your learning on any new BI tool or software. First thing I want to share with you is to become a slow learner instead of a fast learner. While you are starting your learning on any new BI tool or, or software. Many times it happens with almost everyone uh, that they plan to grab or learn each and every functionality of the tool as soon as possible. But when you stuck somewhere, it may result in frustration and give a negative impact on your learning. It is very much possible that you stop learning the tool because you may feel it is a limitation of the tool and you don't want to go ahead. In this case, my advice is to be a little bit slow, take a step back, take your time to understand what functionality is given and how it is related to other corresponding functionalities or components and then take a step by step approach for building upon the knowledge to get the maximum output from BI tool or software. In my view, a BI tool may take minimum of 3 months to maximum of 9 months of yours to develop a comprehensive understanding about it. The second advice I have for you is expand your gauge. This you can achieve by visiting a couple of different blogs or books about the topic that is in your hand currently for learning. This will help you develop different and good perspectives about different types of functionality that is present and related to that topic. Important thing is you know about a topic from different angles to complete your circle of knowledge about that topic. The third advice I have is for two categories, learner, that means an experienced and a freshers. Those who are experienced in reporting and analysis by utilizing BI tools or spreadsheets and planning to learn new BI tool, then it is advisable that they utilize their existing work, it means metrics or charts or reports by designing into the new tool. In this way, you will know very well what the output you need. That means your 50% path is clear about your objective. Then remaining 50% can be achieved by utilizing your learning for developing those metrics, reports into new tools. Now the second part is related to freshers who don't have any prior experience into any tool or reporting work. And the best way is to look at those books or blogs which not only explain the topic in theory but will also explain it step by step practically. After you understand it from book or blog, it, may, it is very important for a fresher to revisit that topic with the help of publicly available data on government sites etc. It will be a bit hard when you will first start because the data may not be in the same format which was explained in the book or blog and you may need to do a little bit of work before actually practicing it. But after a few examples, you will be an expert on how to use this data into your tool. The fourth advice I have for you is to get in touch with professional bloggers and independent consultants who are expert in their area. They will be able to help explaining you the complex topic very easily which which you are finding difficult to understand. One thing you need to take care when reaching out to these folks that you should send an example or sample data set so that they can better understand your problem and reduce the mail trail for clarification of questions related to your question. The fifth and last piece of advice I have for you to develop a high level understanding about the tool or software. Try to recognize the software into three or four high level segments which will cover up the entire software very well. For example, based on my learning related to ClickView, I have divided the overall ClickView developer software into three different categories. In the first category, I have defined the tool in which it connects to data source and import the data. In the second category, I have defined the tool as data massaging or ETL in which I use it to clean the data or put the data in the right format as per my expectations. In the third category, I have defined the tool 
as a presentation layer where we need to prepare the data visualization uh, by creating charts and metrics. And if I divide my learning into these three categories and go step by step to fully explore those areas, which will give me an edge over a way in which if I try to mix up the topics and that will complicate the learning of new tool. So in summary, uh, you have uh, or I'm suggesting these five steps that you should uh, do when learning any new tool or technology related to BI or any other thing uh, if, if you find it suitable. So first thing is uh, learn slow but steadily. Second, expand your gauge. Third is practice it. Fourth is connect with expert. And fifth is categorize the tool uh, with a high level understanding. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. And I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.